What's up, human? Click that subscribe button. I'm going to tell you why Chucky is such an iconic horror franchise. The reason why is a bunch of reasons. I mean, think about it. Brad Dourif's voice as Chucky is iconic. The way that he talks, his laugh is iconic. So many humans around the world, they hear that laugh that Brad Dourif does as Chucky. They know, like, oh, that's the Chucky laugh right there. And then, of course... The first two movies are good as fuck. And then sure, I like the rest of the films and the series is amazing, right? Like Don Mancini, who came up with Chucky, is a genius in terms of how he presented this character and the other characters in the lore about the idea that you got this fucking psychotic serial killer and then he transfers his soul into a doll. And there's this whole process and lore behind it that gets expanded upon when you get to later films and then also what you get with the series. And even in the first film, they kind of go into it a little bit. But over the course of the franchise, you get more and more details, which makes you appreciate the character of Chucky even more. And the characters that surround him are also wonderful as well. But a lot of humans, believe it or not, are afraid of dolls. I know it makes no fucking sense to be afraid of a doll, but... Humans will find a way to be afraid of anything. It's just stuff that you think that humans won't be afraid of. They will be. That's just how it is. To me, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid of dolls. Like, to me, I see a doll. That shit don't matter, right? I see a Chucky doll. I will pick that nigga up, rip off his head, set him on fire, and then piss on the remains. That's, that's what I would do. So, you know, a doll does not bother me. But because he has scared so many motherfuckers around this world then that's also why the character and the franchise is iconic. You know, when you can just have individuals going to sleep, having nightmares and shit, freaking out when they see dolls and stuff, or freaking out when they see pictures of Chucky, that's how you know that you created something that's amazingly on point. And here we are in this day and age, and we're still, uh, we're still talking about Chucky, right? There's a full-blown series and shit. You know what I'm saying? Three seasons in. That's amazing. That this character has had, what, seven some odd movies? Let me see, you got like Child's Play 1, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, uh, uh, Curse of Chucky, and then Cult of Chucky, right? Those are the movies, so you got like, what, seven some odd movies, and you got multiple seasons of a TV series that, you know, it, you're talking about it comes on on multiple channels at the same time. That's amazing. But this is why Chucky is an iconic horror franchise is that Chucky has managed to break through the seeds and sands of time that he's been able to come back and be himself for a modern audience. Right. The character is what he is. You either take him or you leave him. They blend the older characters with the new characters, especially in the context of the series. And it works really well. You can put Chucky in any setting and it works because the character in itself is great. And a lot of that has to do with Brad Dourif doing the voice of Chucky. Because you can have certain writing, but if you don't have the right person delivering the lines, then it's just not going to work. It's going to fall flat. So shout out to Brad Dourif. Shout out to Don Mancini and just really everyone that's been a part of Chucky, whether it be the movies whether it be the series, it's wonderful. This character is going to go on for a long time. It doesn't even matter. You can expect Chucky to be back. He always comes back. Terrence out.